Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the descent in Rudy. If you want to read you this, as someone who has been both been both a patron of Rudy's and a customer of NVP, I greatly appreciate the honesty when it comes to seal product from NVP. Rudy continues to puff up MTG product to sell at the hype of pre-order prices or later on with further deals to unload toxic inventory. Whereas NVP on the regular will warn customers of certain sets, channel inventory, pre-order price weakness, and supply glut looming. It's helped me spot better sets to buy and feel better about not buying certain products following their own advice. To add further to what NVP is saying here, even going back to the original Project Booster Fund set, there are still stores and distributors where front of the Aldrin collector's pack for $20, including NVP. So much for the limited single print run. Then you add sets like Midnight Hunt, Streets of New Campena, Crimson Vow, AFR, Unity, Dominator United, on Infinity, all sitting at roughly half that complete failure of printing to actual demand versus creating demand by destroying equity. A year ago, Modern Horizons 2 collector boost boxes were almost 400. They are now 290. I was in the same boat a year ago. I dropped tons on sealed product to buy and hold that Rudy pushed. I was buying a little of every set until I noticed things were never panning out the way he predicted. I stopped buying sealed because I didn't like the direction Magic was going. He didn't warn his patrons once, and worse, he banned anyone who that spoke out against what he said. It's like his own army of yes-men, and he predatorily leads to slaughter for his own gain. I canceled my subscription about a year of investing and never looked back. It's nice to see NVP speaking actual truth about Wizards of the Coast mismanagement on this whole situation. Another thing about Rudy is that when he fire sells inventories, it's just a sale or a gift to patrons because he's a nice guy. But when other stores do it or Wizard of the Coast themselves do it, it's evil and damaging the market. He says in most of his videos that the print run could be low. He keeps saying it probably won't be, but spends most of his time saying, but it could be. Right? Um... Yeah, so this is obviously a new product. Um, people have basically caught on to Rudy's machinations. Uh, he's still, I mean, he's the biggest Wizard of the Coast supporter right now left. They ain't nobody pushing Magic the Gathering as hard as Rudy Chan right now. And I don't think they can. Uh, you know, I don't think these are, like, this MVP is actually a store. And, you know, they're not just a random distributor. It looks like they're a store that was hosting events for... 10 plus years um copy below is the video link everyone can see for themselves it's a pretty average store better than some worse than some but easily fine for the events we hosted for 10 plus years and thousands of players the fact that we are an approved tournament store for every other major game conveniently escapes them if there was any actual authenticity or equality and to Wizard Coast claims that they had to revoke WPN for over half their WPN stores across the U.S. in worse shape. For us, it just means any buyers who were able to get their units on pre-release week will now have to wait till release week as the WPN status is required to get the units a week early. So, yeah, this is actually what most stores are facing. It's not Rudy Chan. I mean... I think it's kind of weird that Rudy is this hero of everybody when he's actually destroyed most of the local game stores. Like, it's exactly what they say, man. When Rudy Chan has a sale and he's dumping product on you, MetaZoo to Ages, it's because he loves you guys. He's giving you guys a great opportunity. And then when Channel Fireball be dumping product, it's, oh my gosh, they ruined the game. Like, does anyone understand, like, what's happening here? He's convinced a bunch of idiots, right, to, um, and they're turning on him fast. Um, the Reddit is ferociously against Rudy right now, and I see this in uh, the Anthony Ferrar case, right, 
Um, all it takes is one topple, one bad deal, one meta zoo, and then suddenly everyone is uh, chomping at the bits, right? You show weakness, and he has. He's blocking people. Like, you know, the amount of people who email me, he's been blocked. They've been blocked, right? Uh, is crazy. Like, he's blocking his own patrons, uh, which, in my opinion, again, they're the ones paying Rudy money. I, I don't think this operation is a net positive for the community. I don't think it's a net net positive for any game store, especially. Um, and, hey, the MVP people, they say what they feel like, man. When's the last time Rudy Chan wasn't trying to push a set? I know Magic 30th, but let's be honest. The only reason he didn't love it was he couldn't sell it, just like Disney Locana. If Rudy Chan had the ability to get uh, Magic 30th, he would say it's amazing. He would be pushing that shit like, you know, anything on you. But he couldn't sell it because it was a direct product from Wizard of Coast to its consumers. Right? Um, when Channel Fireball or Card Shop Live, whatever it was called at the time, they were, when they were dumping Flesh and Blood and Meta Zoo, Rudy said it was a disaster. And when Rudy be dumping Meta Zoo now, it's, uh, it's a gift. It's a... Uh, it's a gift for you guys, right? Um, I do think that overall, <laughs> Rudy's in for a wide awakening because there are plenty of emails I get and they are ferocious emails, right? They really, really do not like Rudy Chan. Uh, and I think at the end of the day, when you have that many people emailing me about that, there's got to be, when there's smoke, there's a little bit of fire, right? Um, when there's smoke, there is a little bit of fire. Uh, now he's pushing one piece because he sells it. Like, don't you guys get it? Anything he sells, even if it's a shit product, he pushes. Anything he doesn't sell, he doesn't. And he says, and then he attacks. Right? He attacked Magic 30th. That was the only product he's attacked in a recent year. He's saying Ixlon to the moon. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. You think Ixlon would stand the test of time? No, it's been overprinted to oblivion. Anyway, that is my point. Uh, don't listen to this dude. He has no idea what he's talking about. He doesn't even play these games. I uh, remember the Meta Zoo. You know, like a Meta Zoo thing, right? He's and this is like old, like native. This uh, pump and dump he's trying to run. And he didn't even know that he pulled the forty dollar card, one of the most valuable cards in the set, one of the only valuable cards in the set. He just passed it over. You telling me this guy is the guy who you're listening to financial advice and cardboard when he pulls one of the best cards in the set and he has no idea what it is? All right, 